We are Sarah and Austin and over the last few weeks we have been building the chicken coop of our dreams. In last week's video we set up and built the rough frame of our chicken coop and in today's video we're going to continue finishing the coop. We still have things like roofing, things like painting, things like trim work and so I hope you'll stick around. Let's get building. Okay, so we finished the first side of the roof uh, underlayment here with the OSB. A lot harder than I thought, a lot more time consuming, but we're gonna go ahead and start the second side now and hopefully get into a little bit of a rhythm and get it up a little bit quicker. So the roof underlayment is completely up. You can probably tell it's a lot darker in here. And I mean, all things considered, it went up pretty well. I definitely, there's a couple areas that the, the flaws in it will be covered up by the actual roof, but no, I think it went up pretty well. It took a lot longer than I thought, but I can't complain. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in, let's see here, I'm gonna fill in these corner pieces. So right there. And on the other side as well, I'm gonna fill those in with the siding and then put a little trim piece to make it look nice and pretty. And then after that will be trim work. So these should go up hopefully pretty quickly. It's just some good old fashioned Pythagorean theorem. It's like the only thing from math class that is useful in the real world. Sorry, former teachers. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead, make those cuts, tack that up, and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, so we got the corner, or the triangle pieces, those are in place. Now I'm gonna work on some of the trim. So I'm gonna do some of the corners for the trim, um, some of the pieces where the eight foot panels meet those triangle pieces, and then um, around the window and our door. So first though, I'm actually going to pre, not engineer, but I'm going to pre-place the corner pieces and I'll show you what I mean. Um, that way it's nice and snug when I go to put up the corner trim pieces. So let's work on some trim. Alrighty, we got most of the trim up. I still have to do the window behind me here, but most of it is up. And then we have like the batten part of the board and batten that we'll be doing, but I'm tired. I'm, it's just a, it's a taxing project. It's a great project and I'm really enjoying it. But after a full day of working, I'm just like, bleh, you know, just exhausted. So I think I'm gonna take the rest of the night off Sarah and I are gonna cook up a nice meal and uh, yeah, we'll pick it back up in a couple of days when I have the next day off from work. So, see you then. Good morning, everybody. We had our first official frost last night. Um, it was very, very unexpected, at least for Sarah and I, and it got down to 30, 30 degrees, I think, and everything in the garden is dead, which is a bummer, but uh, it's our own fault for not paying attention to the weather and not uh, planning ahead of time. But 
this puts us at a little bit more of a time crunch because we really want to get this coop done um, soon so that the birds can get in here, get acclimated before it actually becomes winter and, and make sure that, they're, that the coop is all winterized and, and is good to go for when temperatures actually get really cold um, here in Wisconsin. So today the plan is to finish some of the trim work, uh, finish, build the nesting box, and then put that onto the outside wall here. Buddy. And then with whatever time allows, I'm gonna be trying to put up some of the board or the batten pieces to this board and batten, um, which is kind of just a nice little accent piece on the wall. But uh, yeah, we only have half a day to work. Um, but I'm gonna try and get as much stuff when we, as we can. So with all that on the agenda, let's get rocking. Alrighty, on to the nesting boxes here. I'm just gonna be building a little box and then um, putting a little slant so that we can reach in from the outside. And shouldn't be too difficult, but those are always the famous last words. All right, so the framing of the nesting box is done. So I'm gonna go and use some of the old OSB just as kind of a, um, just to cover it all up. And then we'll actually be putting some of the actual siding as well so it matches the rest of the coop. But I'm gonna go cut up those and slap those on. Okay, so the nesting box is completely done. That's a lie. We still have to put roofing on it, but the framing of it is completely done. Um, I'm gonna go now and put some of the board or the batten pieces that we can. So we have these guys right here. So those are gonna be the batten pieces that are gonna go in the grooves of the siding and kind of give it that little uh, three-dimensional type look there. So yeah, it looks good. We're like, checking the things off and the biggest thing left to do is the roof but that's not ready to go and then paint and put the door on then i think we're gonna have some chickens ready to move in i don't know we'll see but we're gonna go i'm gonna go and do some of the batten
to sit in the coop because it's so windy out that you wouldn't be able to hear anything. But uh, that's what we were able to accomplish today. So we got some of the board and batten on, we got the nesting box finished and pretty much finished. I have to put the metal roofing to match the actual roof, but right now we're just waiting for the text message from Menards that we can go and pick up our metal roofing and then we'll throw that on and really after that we just have to do some um, more of the battens and then paint and then the outside is pretty much done. Uh, it's really like I'm really starting to see the finished product and that gets me really excited and really happy so I'm gonna go and uh, my best friend is getting married in a couple days so I have to go to the rehearsal dinner for that but we'll pick it up tomorrow and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get a text message that I can go pick up the roofing and I can work on that. So, hope you guys are having a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back, it's the final day of this video and unfortunately the roof that I thought was gonna be ready this morning is not. So we're gonna finish as much as we can without having the roof and behind me, you might be able to see a little square here. I'm going to be installing two windows on our outer side and then I'm gonna be putting as much of the batten pieces as I can. I think I'm gonna run out of those. And that is the plan for today. Here we go. We got time on our side. I stayed home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away. Ooh, I need glasses. All right, these are the best I could find. cruise through those windows which was super nice because that was something that I was kind of stressing about. I was like, oh, this is gonna take a long time but it really, they went up really well and with some trim on them, they're gonna look really nice. So all that's left to do with the materials that we have because we don't have the roof and I'm missing some trim pieces is to put up the board and battens as much as we have left. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna do this wall first and then finish the back wall and then uh, the front's got a little bit and then the side, I'm gonna, the other side I'm gonna wait because I'm not sure if I'll have enough. So. I'm gonna make sure that uh, I get everything as uniform as possible. And yeah, and that'll be it. Crazy times. It's not that crazy, but it's kind of fun. So let's do it. That's gonna do it for this week's video, guys. Thank you for watching, if you're watching still to this point. And if you haven't seen the other videos, I do encourage you, go back and watch the full series. It's kind of crazy to see it go from nothing to what we have now, and we're so close. We're so close, I can almost taste it. We just have to do the roof, a few more accessory pieces, paint it, and then some of the indoor stuff, and then this coupe is gonna be done. And I'm just joyful, I'm just so happy. It looks so good, and I wish I could just like, give you the real life in person what it looks like because the videos don't do it justice necessarily but anyways thank you for watching my name is austin and sarah sarah wasn't really in this video much this week she hasn't been feeling good so hopefully by next week she'll feel a lot better and can be out working on the projects with me but until then we'll see you next sunday peace